Hey everyone, T Speaker 223 XRP, Future Millionaire, Side Button XM, and Future Digibud OG. So, just real quick, I want to go over XRP, XLM, DGB, and just see, you know, what our potential is this morning, see what we can possibly do. And, uh, so right now we have a 108 support, we have a 113 resistance. And if we can get past the 113, we're looking at 118 as the very next zone. So, We've come up and down through these this uh, 108 zone several times. And now we make a breakout over it. And we broke down to 105, came across, counted it as support there. Coming up, now we're trying to gather enough strength to where we can push over this 113 for the first attempt. We haven't made an attempt yet, but it's trying to gather a little bit of support here so that it has enough steam to get over. Now the question is, is how far down do we come? Doesn't look terrible. Looks like we're consolidating now and we're looking for the next burst up, but you want to get up to that 113 level, almost 114. We hit 113, but you want to get to the upper part of 113. Well, we didn't quite hit 113, almost, but we want to get to the upper part, break through that with a burst and then we can try to work on the 113 and then we would start dancing like this. We'd come over. Maybe come up, come back down, and then try to push over that level if we have any kind of strength. So that's what we're looking at right now. It doesn't necessarily feel like it's going to fall straight through yet. I think, like with Bitcoin, we have this area down here, which we know very well. We know all these levels very well. I took these off yesterday because I was drawing a lot, showing you guys in my class what was going on. So... We already know the 47.8, so we're trading in between right now. We're in between the zones. So now what you want to watch for is the 47.5. And we can move this down. You've got this right here, but for all intents and purposes, you don't want to come back through. You know, right here, but we're trading between these zones. It already pushed up into the next zone, which means it could either be faking us out at the top... Or that it worked its way back down, gather a little more support. It'll come up here pretty quickly and then start to make its ascension back to 47.866 to ultimately. And we can put this for transparency up to 48,000 because that's going to be our next target that we're trying to break that point up there. So that's for Bitcoin. I showed you XRP what we're trying to do. We can even come down and try to tap 108 again because that was our local support. So we could come down. But you do not want to break that 108 line, period. It's like with those, you don't want to really break, if you're actually looking at this realistically, that's the 27.7 line basically where I put that. That's a support line, so you don't really want to break that too much. And then the next thing we're looking for is 28.1, 28.6. I'm going to let you guys go pretty quickly. XLM, same thing. We're going to try to hold at worst that 33 cent mark where i have that line going across and we're trading between 33 and 34.4 and then if we can get past 34.4 we're going up to 35.2 and then 36.1 a lot of stuff to do but it, it just looks like we're consolidating right now this is absolutely normal and then dgb 6.3 is what you want to hold then you can work on 6.7 and obviously you're trying to get back over 655. And then you can get up to 71, 74, 77. It's just a, a very slippery slope if you can get up that far in a good way. So if you guys want to donate, links in the description, join Tom's Army. Or if you want to see my Twitter or second YouTube Swing Traders Anonymous page, you can get all that information and more in the video description below. Stay blessed.